I'm Vicki Fishnick. I'm a nurse practitioner at the Wound Care Center in Lubbock, Texas. I work for Dr. Walcott. I've been here for approximately six years. I've had the opportunity to work with uh, every type of wound, uh, traumatic, burns, diabetic, venous leg ulcers, uh, pressure wound ulcers, um, skin tears, burn, burn wounds as well. Uh, we, and I've also had an opportunity to utilize uh, many products over the years. I have had an opportunity to recently be introduced to Inluxtra and uh, the Ultra Inluxtra and have had some great success with our patients. And uh, just uh, from a patient and clinician view and what I see from my patients, the progress in their wounds and their uh, their outcomes. And Luxtra is the first dressing of the self-adapted class. The wound bed's reaction to Luxtra, the decrease in the inflammatory response, the wound bed flattens out. There's uh, usually with the inflammatory response on a, a patient coming in, the wound edges will be raised and you quickly see when Luxtra has dealt with all, with its lock-in function modality it, it uh, decreases inflammation and flattens out the wound bed. Very little slough is left on the wound bed, so you, it, the wounds will generally present with better granulation. It does not require the use of alginates on, unless the wound is a cavernous wound. Then it's important that you pack the wound adequately with whatever packing is if it's of choice for that particular wound, as long as the packing makes contact with the outside of the dressing, you have the wicking uh, ability of that self-adaptive self -adaptive dressing. One of the important things within Luxtra also is um, having the proper size and not cutting. There's several variety of sizes. There's a two by two, a four by four, and a six by six. Uh, if you have a wound that's two by three, utilize the entire four by four. It gives the in, the the Luxor will then have the reservoir for the extra drainage and the slough that moves out throughout the side of the dressings. Which, if you're going to use the dressing for a seven day period or once every two weeks, it's still a great cost benefit. There's no need to cut the dressing. Uh, what impresses me most about Inluxtra is the absorbency of, of the dressing. If the dressing is placed in the correct manner, uh, the wound exudates uh, from the beginning of the uh, onset of a wound helps control the inflammatory, inflammatory process around the wound. As a clinician, what I've seen with Inluxtra is the ability of us to control that inflammatory process in the wound. You quickly see the wound flatten out. You see the redness decrease. Uh, there's times we get patients with very large scale wounds, you know, 12 to 18 centimeters in length and a variety of depths. Uh, these types of wounds come in with heavy, heavy exudate. With Luxtra, in the beginning, the, the patient on it, we've been able to start the patient on Inluxtra, and then we find that the patient might still have to do a dressing the next day or the following day, but with each successive dressing of Inluxtra, we have been, we are able to continue to step that patient out from two days, four days, to finally getting that patient to a once a week dressing. And for some patients, that's been life-changing because uh, a few of our patients were doing twice a day uh, daily changes, which is disruptive if they're in an, a work environment, but they felt it was necessary because of the odor that accumulated in the dressings they had been using. And that is one of the other big uh, things that I see as a clinician, uh, patients coming back saying, I'd like to continue this because I can work all day and not feel like I can smell myself or that other people around me sense that odor. I feel more at ease, comfortable, and I don't have a drainage leaking through the outside of the, the, the dressing.
Now I'd like to just kind of speak about the uh, the Enluxor and its application on a wound. Um, there's a lot of times we just don't, uh, we would rather not uh, cut the dressing. We uh, size the wound. If the wound happens to be a two by three size type wound, we then can utilize the whole four by four uh, dressing of Enluxtra. The allowing to have that border around a wound is creating this reservoir for the drainage and the slough to come up through the dressing and then it disperses to the side. You want to ensure that the edges are, are, are within to the at least a centimeter from the wound so the extra drainage um, has somewhere to go to. And when you're doing a dressing once a week or you've stepped that patient out uh, to once a week or maybe even twice a week, the utilization of a 4x4, four four, it's, it's still a great cost advantage to the patients. A lot of our patients that do come into our clinic uh, come once a week and most of those patients are not finding themselves just coming in for the dressing here in our clinic and are doing uh, maintaining without any leakage uh, due to allowing that dressing not to be cut to the size of the wound. So that is an important factor to remember within Luxtra is that uh, border of allowance. But when you're going to cut down the, the amount of dressings, it is still a great uh, economical benefit for the patient as well. Uh, the other thing within Luxtra is uh, when the dressing is placed properly and full contact is made with the wound bed, the slough and the drainage is drawn into the dressing so upon removing the dressing you can actually visualize the slough and uh, the, li the liquid wound drainage into the dressings and a lot of the times especially with our patients under compression there's actually very little slough, uh, slough left on the wound bed and uh, for some of our patients with uh, very painful venous leg ulcers We've not had to do a uh, debridement uh, to the top of the wound or maybe just to certain sections of the wound. So their pain is a little bit more tolerable as well. Uh, the slough, the wound bed is cleaner. One of the important things about a Luxtra, it is also a non-latex uh, product, which is uh, key to a lot of our patients care in the hospital in home health settings. Uh, one of the things that we see in the hospital setting, in home health, home health settings, is making sure uh, that we do not have uh, latex type products uh, due to the large amount of patients who by this time have come to us, you know, with, you know, having a chronic wound for years and have already developed a latex allergy. So having a luxury being non-latex is an important factor for a lot of our patients. One of the things about Enluxtra is uh, when the dressing is scheduled to be coming off, sometimes you will see the hydrogel residue within the dressing and some of it does kind uh, come apart. Uh, this is nothing harmful to the wound. This is just part of the dressing. It is still absorbing. But just to let you know that that is a common thing that sometimes we see, especially on wounds uh, that are maybe under pressure a little bit more in a weight bearing area. If you have a patient that presents with a possible reaction to dressing, it, it, it's a rare occasion, but I highly do recommend that the dressing be increased in size and really truly evaluated. Do we have drainage uh, coming to the edges of the current uh, dressing? So when you're removing, doing a great assessment and evaluating was the product place appropriately before stating is the patient truly infected. It, it's probably a rare occasion if they are, and I've had a few patients that we pulled off but then immediately placed back on after a week and have noticed that no, there was not allergic reaction, though it may happen in any case with any patient.